We interrupt today's broadcast with a special announcement. Emotional support team it is out right now. Link in the description for limited time only. Get yours today. It is so adorable. It has toe beans. Oh my god, I'm so here for it. Quickly, get one before I buy all of them. <laughs> Psst, disclaimer. What is up, squad fam? This is the Clack here. Not like that off brand, the Click. Disgusting fake channel. On this channel, we talk about the real deals. How pineapple pizza is gross. How land sharks is disgusting. Look at this. Who would combine this disgusting puppy that is totally not adorable with a squeezable little shirt? Okay, I, sorry. I can't. I can't do this anymore. God, this hurts my soul. Good evening. Ladies, lasses and lassos, welcome to the click. I'm sorry if I sound a bit stuffed today. I have a bit of a cold still, but uh, I hope with you here, that can warm me up. Oh yes, that's that's how it works, right? Anyway, so today we're gonna look at off-brand products, which uh, is really funny. Some of them are like legitimately creative. I would like some of these products just for showing it off because how ridiculous it is. Enjoy. Mwah. And if you like the click more than the clack, subscribe to the channel and show your support today. Otherwise, I will cry. And it's not the sexy kind of crying. It's, you know, when you, when there's snot running down and all that kind of stuff. So please subscribe. Thank you. I am totally not a manipulative creator. <laughs> Woo! All right. So we have a nightcap, but okay. If you flip it, it's an Adidas. <laughs> this is the best off brand ever. Can I just get a hat like this? And no, what, what, depending on the context, what people think is a show off brand, you can just flip it inside out. This is genius. It's like if I have a jacket that on one side says Gucci and the other side it says, I don't know, some other North Face or something. <laughs> Gorgeous. When a bootleg product becomes so infamous, it's actually worth more than the average game. Let's see, Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys. $130? <laughs> what is wrong with the face of that witch in the background? What happened to you? Oh my god, everyone in this looks so incredibly constipated. But <laughs> the Seven Clever Boys. Why does this title just remind me of like some weird adult film? It's it's wild. <laughs> I think you have succeeded in making your off-brand scam when it becomes worth more than the actual game. It's just a collector's item because it's so bad and out there. I think I think that's a goal for any scammer, to be honest. Oh, look at all these options. I love sodas. Do you want some fancy? I prefer right. Or here we have Club Cola. Original taste. I'm not sure if I agree what the word original means in this case, but uh, you do you, fam. Have you ever played Angry Birds? <laughs> you plebeian normie. I'll give you the Chadtacular game instead. Mildly infuriated bird. <laughs> What's in the title? The title just reads like a sh post. Oh, God. This is like if you were to retitle GTA to like... Minor vehicular muggery five. <laughs> it doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it? Four movies pack. Puss in Boots, Donkey X. <laughs> yeah, Donkey X doesn't sound like a freaking sus title at all, does it? Here are the brave and gnomes and trolls. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I kind of want this and do like a drunk watch through with a bunch of friends. I think that would be really funny. Uh, bro, how do I know if my Jordans are fake or real? I checked the logo. Wait, I'll send. Original has the hand like this, but the fake one has a hand upwards. Uh, here is mine. Karate Kid! <laughs> I think you got the fake ones, man. I, th I think you got the fake ones. Do you like Marvel movies? Oh, yes, indeed. I'm so glad to hear it. I have a spanktacular one that just came out. It is Mr. Bean versus Spider-Man. Because cause th that's the crossover everyone needed. <laughs> I wonder what's actually on all these discs. Is this just clickbait and is just something random on the disc? Or is this actually someone who's tried to make a legit crossover and edited it or do done something weird with it? I am genuinely intrigued. Does anyone know? Please tell me. Thank you. Childhood diseases! Circumcision! Yay! Get circumcised by SpongeBob today! Woo! Zombie wears wall boy. <laughs> I guess you avoid copyright issues at least. <laughs> Where's Wall? Boy. First name Wall, last name Boy. Great. Shh, 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 shh. It's Lemon. Shh, don't tell anyone we're ripping them off. Shh, lemon. Russian shops have started replacing brands with their hilarious analogs. Cool Cola, Fancy, and Street. Great choices, am I right? Oh, my Cool Cola, Fancy. Oh, that is... Yeah, yes, that's... Uh, innovation. 
Ice Queen! Oh, it's like Frozen, but a complete ripoff. That's, <laughs> that's also... Look at that figurine above the Lego thing, the one flying. It also looks constipated. Why is that a theme and everything off-brand? Off it just looks like, oh gee, you haven't been on the bathroom for a while and your, your colon is about to explode. The Miserable Cow found on the internet. The Miserable Cow! <laughs> like, I appreciate the twist, but it's not as selling as, you know, ah, laughing cow, smiling wholesomely while you eat my sweet white liquid. This just feels really depressing. Totoro the Hedgehog. That is the crossover I just need in my life. I didn't know I needed this until I saw this and I... I kind of want this. I'm not usually for off-brand stuff, but this is an exception. Weapons and flowers. Is this a Guns N' Roses off-brand shirt? Is this a Guns N' Roses shirt? Weapons and flowers? <laughs> Great. This is what I would imagine, like a Southern American off-brand rock band would name themselves. Oh yeah, we're weapons and flowers. <laughs> Shotguns and dandelions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like Finding Nemo? It's a cute movie, right? Well, then you will love this place, Frying Nemo. <laughs> Traditional fish and chips. Don't bring your kids unless it's a punishment. They might cry. That is so amazingly macabre. I love this. League of Legends for men. And then there's Thor and Iron Man. League of Legends for men. You've just mixed and matched everything together. The characters have nothing to do with the title. I appreciate the hustle because people who might be completely ignorant about the other fandom, somehow, might still think it's legitimate based on one thing. So you capture like two demographics and you capture a very small part of each demographic that is not aware of the other demographic, which means they might be more likely to fall for like off-brand products. You know, maybe it's a strat. Maybe this is really smart. Unlicensed Mario statues sold by UK garden furniture shop, Austin Garden Ornaments, named Italia Man. That is so non-specific. Oh no, it's totally not a the Mario. The M stands for me pasta. <sighs> that just feels off-brand, doesn't it? Shrek's Pizza, free delivery. I appreciate the theme, all the green stuff and that kind of thing. I'm not sure if the most appetizing color for pizza, but uh, all right, fine. Not sure if this generic Kit Kat is naughtily harassing me. Take it, <sighs> four fingers. Oh, oh, n oh, please, please. I don't, I don't, I, this is not the reason I buy a candy bar. Thank you very much. Oh, here are some more off-brand soda. We have Club Cola and we have Fans. So you know the oldies and the goldies. But then we also have Monsoon Dew. <laughs> So close. So close. This North Fierce jacket I bought in Cambodia a decade ago is still holding strong. The North Fierce. Well, I suppose if the rest of the jacket is higher quality than that atrocious logo print, then, you know, why not? It's amazing. I had a friend who got, like, an off-brand watch when he was in China, and it looks legitimately good, and he's had it for, like, a decade. Costed him, like, five bucks. Amazing. I'm not sure about the North Fierce, though. That sounds a bit... Ah, oh, here we got the real one. The North Fake. <laughs> At least they're honest with their branding. <laughs> nice. What's up? A balloon to the rescue. I don't think this has anything to do with the original Up. This is also that kind of movie that just intrigues me. What is actually on the disc? Is this a game or is this a movie? I think it's a, I think it's a movie. It looks so bad. I want to watch this drunk. I so want to watch this drunk with a couple of friends. That would be so funny. Worst logo for a skin treatment center ever. Medicare Skin Center. Oh, that's that's the logo for the Umbrella Corporation. That's not... <laughs> this is not a selling point. That <laughs> is so bad! Oh, yeehaw, here's our skincare center. We'll casually turn you into a zombie. Don't worry about it, Courtney. At least you'll be a smooth skin zombie. Mm. Walking dead. More like walking drop dead gorgeous. Oh, nailed it. Hire me for marketing, dear s scam... Co no, please don't do that. Thank you. <laughs> Some absolute corkers here on a toy mobile phone. My personal favorite is Matebook. I love these ones because it's so innocent. You know, it's not an actual scam. It's just a toy imitating a phone, but you can't use the actual name. Let's see. Matebook camera weather pixagram. <laughs> okay. Face to face. <laughs> Boo. Birdie. Pix. What's up? Two. MeTube. Is that, is that an adult site? I no, that's another one, right? I, do, I, do, I don't know. No, okay. Moving on. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to go to a Victoria's Secret show? Oh, yes, indeed. I have some VIP slips. Let's look at it together. We have Victoria's Sigurt. VictoriaSigurt.com. 
All right, maybe the next one is a legit one. Victorious Sigurd? No, VictoriousSirgurt.com. God damn it. And then we have Vukovikovikis Sirwit. Vukovikis I'm mean, even with my raging dyslexia, can't can't think that this is actually Victoria's Secret. Come on now. Jesus Christ, fam. Oh, look at those little ponies. I love my favorite show, The Horse Family. <laughs> you could just have named it My Little Horse. That's not the same name, but it still sounds almost legit, so people might fall for it. You know a grandma that's shopping gifts for their kids and like, oh, My Little Horse, I think that was the one. That could work. Horse Family, get out of here. Oh, look at this one. It's an off-brand Hello Kitty phone case. Let's get this bread. Defund Planned Parenthood. Why is there a random croc on this? This is just all over the place. I kind of want this one. I'm gonna be honest. You know, the worst part, after making this video and laughing about all this stuff, if I ever open a P.O. box, it's just gonna be so full of off-brand garbage that people send me as a meme. <laughs> Amazing. Adult Stone Age friend. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah, from Fle Fred Flintstone, but you can't use the actual name. I'm not sure, like, adult friend sounds really weird. I don't think anyone has ever called it adult stone friend. It sounds either like it's a friends with benefits, or it sounds like a really weird thing, you know, a kid would say in a shady freaking context. Like, my adult friend Steve, he's 35 and he only hangs out with kids' children. Oh, God. Mild as December. A mate snuck them in from China, and they are unsmokable. Man, bro. Cigarette case only. Wait, what do you mean, cigarette case only? So, it, it's only paper pieces? There isn't anything in them? I mean, cigarettes suck, so, you know, I don't, I don't mind. Maybe it's healthier to just smoke paper, but... <laughs> That's amazing. I would keep this one just for the meme. Man, bro. That is so good. Do you like Shrek? I like Shrek. I used to have a Shrek game on my old GameCube way back in the day. Okay, let's watch the Shrek movie together. It's... Oh! Oh my god, what happened to Shrek? What is... Oh, Jesus, this looks so cursed. What is... It? Oh, God. This gives me some, like, dark alley vibes. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is what you show your kids if you're, like, an overbearing parent to prematurely traumatize them before they leave the household so they will be afraid of everything in the world so they never get into trouble. Ooh, goody. AFC! Asian fried chicken. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Great. Well, I ask you, uh, marketing Steve, how do we make kids want to brush their teeth? Well, you just put them on side of, side of a little toy, and it's gonna be so fun to brush your teeth. Look at this one, you just put the toothbrush on a toy gun. Nothing like teaching kids to put a pistol in their mouth. And there's just a random car that comes with it. It's a toy car and a gun toothbrush. What is this pack? It's so random. <laughs> what? One launch man. Rico's launches. Okay, I'm guessing it's a different language. I was gonna say that lunch is heavily misspelled as well, but I kind of appreciate that. One lunch man, that's really funny. I, that That's funny. Ah, do you want to become a real crypto bro and get them cash monies to get them boats and female friends? Oh yes indeed, now you can buy this bag of Bitcoin. Heck yeah. Get, <laughs> get rich today. <laughs> Honestly, that would be so much fun to do as a merch. Just have a whole gag of like, yo, what's up? Um, I'm Crypto Bro Deluxe, and today you can buy this this new cryptocurrency, and it's just these little souvenir coins that just say Bitcoin. That's amazing. I mean, at least you won't lose more than 10 bucks, you know. It's so good. No brand, made for consumer. Our philosophy is to help our consumers understand that the real value lies in the quality of the product and not the brand name. Honestly, they do have a point. Like, branding sells a ridiculous amount. I remember taking a branding or marketing course back in my master in university as one of my add-on courses. And like branding sells so much, sometimes even more than the actual product itself. It is ridiculous and it's kind of good to be aware of because there's a lot of social pressure and status and stuff that comes along with brands and also just fam familiarity sells so much or who endorses it. That's why you have, for example, so many brands sponsoring celebrities and that kind of stuff. Like, oh yeah, those are the shoes that Click wore. Oh my God, now I'm never gonna wear them. That's how it works. Uh, but it's also like, <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird off-brand chip. So I, I don't know, fam. It has a point, but... Boo. Imagine you are one of the simpletons. You have been invited to shop at the new fair trade store. How will you respond? Ah, yes, the simpleton family, my favorite 90s anime. <laughs>
Did I just call Simpsons an anime? Oh, I'm looking forward to the comment section. Oh, God. Headphones microphone. Oh, God, those are very useful. It's from Sonia. So you know that it is very official. Oh, look at this cute little Pikachu thing. Here's the name of it. Cross-dressing duck. I'm so disappointed that they're calling this a cross-dressing duck. And they didn't even make the keychain thing a cross-dressing duck. I would totally buy this if it actually was a cross-dressing duck. That is so cool. Oh, I can... Oh, my God. You're probably the death person. M from Kill Journal. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You know those serial killer kind of things where, you know, they, they cut off a face and wear the face on their own face? It looks like that, but they have accidentally just cut off someone's buttocks and wore it as a face. That, that's kind of the vibe this gives me. Grand Theft Auto. GTA Grand Shift Auto. Oh, it's good. Yeah, you gotta shift them into gear, baby. How else would it work? Was that even a joke? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> God, I'm funny. Panda vs. Aliens. Executive produced by Stan Lee. Is that even a sentence? Probably not. And here we have a bunch of just random animals, and it's Panda vs. Aliens. This is also that kind of movie that I would just be intrigued to watch, just to see, like, what they have done with it. It's probably going to be complete garbage in 25 minutes long, but... I kind of I kind of want to do wouldn't that be fun as a second channel? I just buy as many off-brand movies as I can find and do like honest reviews of them. That'd be such a fun project. Oh my god. And then you also add a twist on it. You review it with friends or guests you have on this weird show and you just get drunk and have fun while doing it. That is such a good concept for a second channel. Don't steal it. I might do it at some point. Oh my god, it's the magic night bus with Justice Magician. And we have these really off-brand figures up in the right corner. All right, cool. All Destination Night Bus. Did you just mix Knight Rider together with, like, Harry Potter and just make it all kind of just mash together? Great. What is this? Lari? You couldn't even spell Lego right. Jesus Christ. Oh, what a spoopy movie. Do you know the movie It? Mm, it's not that, baby. This is that. I don't know, man. I'm not sure if this movie is all that. Well, it literally is. Good movie. Do you want a new graphics card? You know, the GTX 40 series just came out in the 4090s are really juicy, but gosh darn, they are expensive. But I have an amazing offer for you. Here is a J-Course uh, CTX 490T from Mvidia. <laughs> Why is there a snail? As the logo. Buy this one. It's super slow. <laughs> Ooh, what a selling point. Oklahoma City. That's still better than Oklahoma, I suppose. I kind of want to go to Oklahoma. Sounds like a nice place. Bar to hermanos. And then we have a the family guy and some random dude on the right. You know, the famous family guy characters, Peter Quagmire and White Beer Dude. Hell yeah. Lus Stevenson. <laughs> Another off-brand Simpson. I can't tell if this is worse than the other one. I mean, the simpletons had... <laughs> Has a little bit of a kapow to it. This just feels like Simpsons, but more vanilla. Like, it's Simpsons if you remove the spark, you know? It's just, it's, oh god. Hey there, uh, you look like you need some ointment. I have just the one for you. Uh, be gay. Oh no, it's the gay agenda. They're turning our kids gay with ointment. Ah! Oh. Okay, here's a Mario, but but green? That's a, that's a bit off-brand. Okay, and it says <laughs> Avengers. <laughs> Do they do this on purpose? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's it's like I said before, you know, maybe the persons who buy this are not aware of that universe. They're like, oh, this looks like the figurine my grandson might have wanted. Avengers universe? It sounded about right. I saw that at some point, you know. Maybe that's the point. It's like the first filter to get people to not realize it's an off-brand BS product. I have a hypothesis that it's the same thing with scams. You know these emails that get sent out with like, Nigerian prince, you're gonna inherit money, just pay a little bit first? They leave a lot of typos and stuff in their emails. And I believe they do that on purpose because it filters out the people who would like obviously not believe the scam because they're more steps to it, and the people who, like, call out the typos and stuff are more likely to not buy into this. But if you ignore the typos and you're a bit too excited about it and go ahead with it, then you're more likely to, to go for it, you know? So I think that's a method for filtering it out. It's like a first filtering. If the scam looks too appealing, you will get too many people in on it, but almost everyone will back out on the second step, so they waste a lot of time. But if the first email looks a bit shady, then only the most gullible people will swallow that, and they will spend their time on the people most likely to believe it. Um, bit of a side tangent, but I believe that might actually be the case. This guy is like the biggest football star in Tanzania. That's a nice photo. The Neroth Eos 
and Googie. <laughs> Damn, I love my Googie brand. <laughs> that That's, oh, I was gonna say that's so on brand, but it probably isn't. Hey there, fellow nerds. Do you like board games? How about we head home to my place and we can play some Monopolio? <laughs> my family loves polio. <laughs> <laughs> what would that actually mean in practice, though? Because monopoly means that one company owns the entire market, right? And they control everything. So monopolio would mean that polio is the only disease left and it's conquered out all other diseases. Great. Nice. Pokemon Grinder. Pokemon Grinder. Only $14.99. You know, in the Pokemon universe, dating works just a little bit differently. Hey, Ash, you want to see my Pokeballs? Oh, sure, bro. Can you imagine how horrid the Pokemon universe would actually be if it was IRL? Imagine you just take your Pokemon to cockfighting, it gets absolutely ravaged, and then someone gets angry and just shoots the opposing Pokemon or something. And it's just, I'm a, I mean, the Pokemon universe would be very f***ing dark if it was real. Just gonna put it out there. Oh, speaking of Pokemon, here's my new Pokemon card, Mewtwo. Look, look at that Mewtwo. Damn, I don't remember Mewtwo being a bug-type Pokemon, but I guess I was mistaken. So sorry. Sorry, Bugs Bunny. I swear I don't have any cash on me. Please don't hurt me. Oh my freaking god, what is that? Holy sh... What? This is nightmare fuel. You know, Five Nights at Freddy's horror game? Pfft, get out of here. This is the real horror game. What is this? This is horrifying. What is with the glowing eyes? Oh. Well, that's fine. I didn't want to sleep this night anyway, so... Joke's on you, Bugs Bunny. Burger friends. You can only go there if you have friends. Well, that means I can't go. Uh. Who needs Colonel Sanders when you have Commissar Dresniewski? KGB! Kuriza Gordora Borshogo! Oh, nice. The fried chicken Krovsbrsk. Great. Great. That's... The, yeah. Amazing. Wow. Sold me right away. Oh, we have Winner with the Disney font. Okay, battery operator. Holy sh... What did they do to Mickey Mouse? What did you do? That is horrifying. What the frick is this? Mouse and friends. Great way of like generically find the name past the point of non-recognition. Nice. Do you want a lardy Pikachu, aka Porkachu? Here is your Porkachu. You know that when the head is larger than the body and everything just looks like a giant weird pillow where the stuffing is a bit all over the place? I kind of want one, but I think I prefer those lumps up to the left, like the Pikachus without limbs. That's just like a lump. That looks super cute. It's like a Pikachu slime. It's amazing. Uh, Obama. Ideally, everyday pen. Uh, ideal, uh, quote, did the ball pen. Mm, yes, indeed. I love myself, uh, Obama. Toy Stoy. I am running away. Try me in the back. Well, that's very inviting, isn't it? 15 sounds and phrases. Does it have anything about taking you in the back? Are those the sound effects? Oh, not so hard. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. It's a, it's Toy Story, you know? It's wholesome. Look at all these little construction puppies. That is super cute. Wow, this is amazing. What's the name of this adorable product? Concentration Camp. Great. Splendid. Car in the movie. Is that... Oh, is this like an off-brand Batmobile? Is that what it is? <laughs> that one car from that movie? <laughs> they can't sue us if we're grossly unspecific. I know that Halloween has passed, but some of us are really, like, engaged in our costumes, and we start planning it a year ahead of time. I think I've found my costume for next year. You wanna see it? All right, here we go. Prepare yourself. Trans boy. <laughs> it's a deluxe costume. <laughs> deluxe trans boy. <laughs> I can just see how this turns into a gag at the party. Just transform! And but instead of being like a transformer, you just change gender. <laughs> it like it turns accidentally wholesome, doesn't it? What on earth is this title? Is this really on Prime? Superman Prime. What? After witnessing his partner's murders, Raja vows to bring the killer to justice. He prays to Lord Hanuman and soon acquires supernatural abilities that help him in his quest for this has four stars. It looks, it looks like an adult film from the 80s. <laughs> Four stars, really? <laughs> All right. The Adventures of Chris Fable, time to believe. Lost boy in a magical land. Honestly, this looks a little bit intriguing. Like you have the Harry Potter font, you have like balloons, you have the running people, looks like the movie 2012. You have a robot and off-brand Harry Potter with a sword. It looks like a kind of movie that could be good just because they've lumped together all concepts from all fantasy things in one. Like when I say good, I mean entertaining, not good good, right? A fun fact, this is a Christian movie. Ah! 
Oh, no. oh. My first clue that this might be a Christian fable was that the main character is called Christian Fable. Oh, no. I thought, oh. Oh, isn't that like witchcraft and stuff, though? Isn't that... Isn't that very contradicting or... I don't know, man. Toys for us. <laughs> Wait, for the people in the store? Or like for the people go... <laughs> no, it's for us. None of it for you. Get out of here, kids. So here is Green Mario and Red Luigi, and it's Muigi and Lario. <laughs> Great. Perfect. Ah, my favorite game, Lario's Mansion. Adventure Time! And it's just random characters. That has nothing to do with Adventure Time. You just, you just mix it all together. <laughs> this is also the kind of mistake that I see like a grandma doing for, the, for their grandkids. It's like, oh, I heard they watch Adventure Time. I found this thing that says Adventure Time on it. It's just this random thing with characters that has nothing to do with it. <laughs> I think that's their target demographic. Everest, no problem. Mr. Nepal. Maybe Simpsons ripped off Mr. Nepal. It just seems like one of those brands that would be, would be first, you know? Do you like lightsabers? Do you like Jedi superpowers? Do I have a treat for you? The new set of Starwart. Sounds a little bit gross, doesn't it? L-E-B-Q. <laughs> so Sounds like an off-brand LGBTQS star board all in one. This is amazing. Burek King. Oh, my favorite burger, Cheng. I love myself a good Burek. I wonder where this is from. Like, which country? I'm so intrigued what country this would be. I don't want to show the entire phone number so editor censor it, but the first number is 061. What country is that? That is, that is amazing. Burek. So cool. You know when you're traveling abroad and you're looking for familiar brands because that's when you know you'll get, like, the product you expect, right? It's sometimes easier than exploring new things, especially if you want something easy. So, right here we can find the good old 911. <laughs> there, there are so many numbers you could have chosen instead of this. 1011, you know, 611. There's so many things. 911, that's the one you went with? All right, fam. This Kahanian movie poster. Joss. <laughs> Honestly, it's not what I expect. This is the kind of thing where you ask someone to make a rip-off movie, but they haven't actually seen the original. <laughs> so they just like go off like, oh, something to do with sharks and murder. All right, I'll whip something together. It's just like a giant shark fursona just going around killing people. Good movie, fam. This thick Michael Jordan cap. Oh, yes indeed, look at the cake. I must say though, embroidering something like this to make the cake stand out that much, I'm impressed. I think this brand has earned the title of the new real brand. <gasps> Thick Michael Jordan cap, hell yeah. iPhone designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. Oh, yes, I love myself a California. Let's see, just picking out some barbecue sauce for the barbecue. Enjoy cock barbecue sauce. That has some underlying <laughs> messages to it, and my feelings are mixed, but entertained. Mr. Shirt! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, here are more of those cute puppies. Look at that. You have police puppy, you have construction puppy, concentration camp. Come on! Come on! You have a good thing. It's cute! You have a good concept. Why? Of all possible names. It's like the 9-11 off-brand store. Why concentration camp? Why? You have so many letters. So many, so many words that you can choose from. And this is the combination you went for. Like one of the, one of the worst ones. God. Look at these cute puppies just working in the concentration camp. Whoa. Ooh, here we go. This is almost Angry Birds, but don't let it fool you. It's Angry Cock. Family game, apparently. Well, the title suggests otherwise, doesn't it? The Americans, yeah! Okay, well, that's that's relatively on brand, right? It's typical, stereotypical American family from the 90s. What happened to Homer? Oh my, what is with that stare? Oh, this is horrifying. Okay, well, this is gonna give me nightmares. I love myself some good old card games. Would you like to come to my home and play some um? Um, I'm not sure. Haha. <laughs> Funny, because you can say that when you're not sure about which card to play. Hence, the name of the game. Um. <laughs> Great for <laughs> in the size of people. Hogo Boos. Boos. <laughs> I don't have to laugh or cry anymore. This is amazing. Animal Crossing. Oh, no, I don't think that's... That's not Animal Crossing. I don't... Why is there a random Elmo in the back? Why? <laughs> There's just so many things lumped together. What? 
Hi there, kids. Do you enjoy Star Wars? Do you want to be a police officer when you grow up? I have the perfect product for you. Star Knight. Darth Vader takes on new <laughs> job as a police officer handing out tickets. This thing reads like one of those Family Guy cutaway freaking skits. Do you remember that time when the Death Star blew up so Darth Vader had to get a new job as a parking ticket officer? It's, <laughs> it's exactly that. But an off-brand product. Frozen. <clears throat> Land. Okay, it's the same font, but it's not the same thing. Look at those beautiful characters. And look at that girl. Freaking 2001 animation looking ass. Great. This is just great. This is also my list for movies that would be really entertaining to watch when you're really drunk. Uh, that would be such an interesting thing to do. Maybe that's what we should do with our podcast channel. But check out our podcast channel, One Click Podcast. Maybe that's what we should do. Just invite guests and watch, like, the worst off-brand movies we can find and just get drunk with other creators. That'd be so much fun. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video, you beautiful, beautiful beans, and have an amazing rest of your day because you do deserve it. And I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.